Scientists warn, stop sending signals into space trying to contact aliens. What if aliens aren't the good guys we are expecting? The day the human race finds out we are not alone in the universe will likely redefine society as we know it. Everything will change. If we discover that there is intelligent life elsewhere in the cosmos, planet Earth will abruptly change. Religion will no longer be what it was before. Endless possibilities in terms of technology and science could appear, and perhaps the human race will then come together as one. Maybe even borders will disappear, we will stop thinking about building walls to separate countries, and we will colonize other star systems that now seem impossible to reach. Maybe aliens will be kind and benevolent, and maybe they will share the secrets of the universe with us. But what if aliens aren't the good guys we are expecting? Two German researchers have recently said that contacting aliens may not be as pleasant as some believe. The researchers from the University of Freiburg argue that we should cease all attempts at communicating with potential extraterrestrial beings. The reason? If we continue sending signals into outer space, and someone actually answers, a possible catastrophe could follow. Professor Michael Sch and Dr. Andreas Antine warn that contact with an alien race with a similar kind of capitalist economic structure is a terrible idea. In their latest book titled The Alien Society, Introduction to Exosociology, Die Gesellschaft der Außerirdischen, Einführung in die Exosoziology, the researchers draw parallels with our own history when developed societies with a capitalistic mindset conquered and almost annihilated less developed ones. One example is when the Europeans arrived on the American continent. It'll be, a showdown between Bambi and Godzilla, and we would be Bambi in this case, Michael Sch warned. According to Sch and Anton, there are three possible scenarios. Remote contact. In this scenario, the Earth would receive a distant signal from an extraterrestrial civilization. It is currently the only research scenario of the American SETI, which is searching for extraterrestrial intelligence. Sh considers that this research has defects because contact can also be made in other ways. Indirect contact through an artifact. We would contact aliens in the Earth's vicinity when discovering some ancient probe or suspicious space debris in this scenario. It would be artifacts that demonstrate the presence of an extraterrestrial entity that would have visited the solar system long ago. Direct contact. In this scenario, we would contact extraterrestrials directly, with a flying object containing aliens. However, it's not been ruled out that such a spacecraft could be directed by artificial intelligence or by some machine. What's more important here is that through this, there could be communication with an alien civilization. The two researchers also warn that directly confronting aliens may not be the only problem that could threaten life on Earth. What if scenario? The researchers say that humanity could one day discover an alien probe somewhere in the solar system and bring it back on Earth. This technology may be more advanced than anything we've ever seen. Bringing the probe back to Earth and reverse engineering. In their lust for knowledge and rare, exotic technologies, governments, as well as private corporations, could doom the planet we live on, as the alien technology may be too dangerous for us to study or even possess. To prevent numerous possible catastrophic outcomes, the two scientists say the UN must play a role and prevent research groups and individuals from sending deep space signals that could alert aliens of our presence.